Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It has been a long time coming, so this is basically an update on the Starlet. Uh, so recently I have turboed it and put a big intercooler on it. Uh, but you should know that because you should be following my Instagram, which is hopefully here somewhere. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into it, show you what I've done, and show you what's in for the future. So here she is here, as you can see, intercooler and and a cool and piping. Yep, it is very low to the ground. Had a few hits with that. <clears throat> uh, so if you watch my other videos, you'll know that it is half camel wrapped, half gauze black. Uh, so yeah, going on to engine stuff. Just open the bonnet. Also, inside we have recarrow bucket seats. Obviously, it is a bit dirty now, it's just been neglected to be honest. Uh, so, get that bar opened. And as we come, oh, you can see the dent, the rock hit that. Here we have it. So, it doesn't look the best, but here we have a Honda Civic uh, radiator because obviously the other one wouldn't fit. <coughs> uh, also, the bracket that holds it in, sitting slanted, yep. <laughs> uh, we have the turbo under here, it's a CT9 turbo and a cool and piping. We managed to make the power steering fit because it was hitting the turbo. Uh, we we'll also have a see through timing cover. Um, so, yeah, to be honest, it is a bit messy at the moment. There's a lot of stuff I still want to do to it. It's just, just trying to get the time at the moment. Uh, but we will be going straight into this and making it look a lot bigger, a lot better soon. Uh, and yes, they will have the inner cooler. Now I have the piping coming down from there, all the way up. And there, I, I came up with this. I think it's meant to go into a dump valve or whatever, so I've just blocked it off. Uh, so yeah. Also, the coolant, it usually obviously sits there. I've moved it up to there. Uh, just more space, because obviously you get rid of the airbox. Uh, yeah. I've, <coughs> I had to get a relocator for the oil filter. There, as you can see it, because uh, it would hit the turbo, and I had to get a smaller one, uh, so it fit. So yeah, that's basically that. So yeah, that's basically that. Uh, that's all the stuff I've done to it so far. There is a lot of stuff that I'm still wanting to do to it. Um, we put I put the heat shield on it because, like, on the manifold because it was hitting off the intercooler pipes and you don't want that to warm up. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'm just looking down, that's why I keep looking down and looking down at the engine bay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but recently, soon it's going on, uh, I don't know if people who are watching us are from this area, but it's in Edinburgh, it's called Motoring Festival, or Festival of Motoring or something. Uh, it's going to stand there, so it's getting a full makeover, if you want to say it. Uh, new wrap, uh, other wheels, well the wheels are getting Third exhaust is finally going to go on it. Hopefully, if we can find one, uh, and yeah, it's just going to it's just going to look a lot better uh, and get it properly done. So yeah, I'm going to start taking this a lot more serious and getting pushing more videos videos out there weekly. Hopefully, on the Starlet and drop a comment if you'd like to see anything else, anything different. Uh, so I will show. Well, I think I will show like the process of me doing different stuff there, different wrap, wheels refurbed and stuff like that to get it looking a lot better uh, and be proper happy with it. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> just let me know in the comments below what else you want to see and make sure you follow my Instagram here, hopefully, over my face. Uh, and yeah, hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Also forgot to say, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. <laughs>